In this problem, we're given a graph and we're asked uh, different questions. So part A wants the function's domain. So let's click this little magnifying glass here and that should make our graph bigger. Okay, so the domain is all of the x's that lead to y values. So my mouse here is at negative four and there's no y value here. So that means negative four is not in the domain. So to find the domain, you go left or right, okay? And it looks like it starts here, although there is a hole in the graph here so we're going to have a parenthesis here. So this number isn't actually included in the domain. So negative 1, negative 2, so from negative 3 all the way to 0, and we include the 0 because 0 is included because we have a solid dot. So it's from negative 3 all the way to 0. Those are all the x values that give us y values, with the exception, of course, of negative 3. So I'm going to type it in. So it's parentheses, negative 3, comma, 0, and we want to bracket at the 0, again, because there's a solid dot there. And the parentheses is because we don't include the negative 3. Let's try it. It's always x values for a domain, always. Boom, there it is. We got it right. All right, the range is all the possible y values. So I'm going to click on this magnifying glass, and you go from the bottom up. Okay, so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 4, and it's a bracket all the way to 5, and it's a parentheses because we have a hole. So negative 4 to 5. So I'm going to close this. So it's a bracket at negative 4, and it's a parentheses at 5 because there's a hole there, right? So here we go. Good stuff. The x-intercepts, if any. So the x-intercepts are where the graph crosses the x-axis. Looks like it crosses at negative 2 right here where my cursor is. So at negative 2, that's where the graph crosses the x-axis. So that would be the x-intercept. Let's try it. So negative 2. Good stuff. And then the y-intercept is where it crosses or touches the y-axis. Well, it actually touches it at negative 4. So that would be the y-intercept. So negative 4. The y-intercept is negative 4. Good. And then f of negative 1. So f of negative 1 is the y value when x is negative 1. So here's negative 1 where my cursor is. So 1, 2, 3. So negative 3, that's the y value when x is negative 1. So negative 3 is the answer. Let's try it. So negative 3, check answer, and that's it.